Live from the studios of Penn Trafford High School, this is Wake Up Warriors with Julianne Bean and Emily Good. We'll look at the teams in the playoffs and the daily weather and sports report. Wake Up Warriors starts now. Good morning, Penn Trafford, and welcome to Wake Up Warriors. I'm Julie. And I'm Emily. Today is Friday, November 3rd. And we have, it's a big weekend for Penn Trafford Athletics. Three varsity teams are in the Whippeal or State Playoffs. We sent Maddie Haverberger to find out more about each of the teams. It's playoff season in Penn Trafford, and this year we have three teams competing in the Whippeal and State Playoffs. I caught up with some players from each team to see what their expectations are for the postseason. This is the field hockey team's second year in a row winning the Whippeal Championship. Emily Polakowski is hopeful that the team will advance as they play the first round of state playoffs this weekend. So we just recently won the AA Whippeal Championship and now we're headed to the first round of the state playoff. And in order to get to this spot, um, it obviously took a lot of hard work and this year it was a lot more hard work and dedication in order to get to where we are. I think our biggest challenge in the state playoffs is going to be just the overall experience of the other team. Because of where they're from, they play a lot more um, tough and experienced teams. The team's really close, which I think made a huge impact on how we got this far. Our girls soccer team is playing in their first Whippeal Championship since 2003 this weekend. I caught up with senior captain Kenzie Youngs, who's excited to face Norwin for a third and final time this year. This Saturday, we play Norwin at Highmark for the Whippeal Championship. Norwin was nationally ranked at the beginning of the year until we beat them the first time we played, and the second time we tied. I think it's going to be a hard game because they're very experienced at Highmark. They've been there, like I said, three times, and they're just a hard team to compete against. They're predicted to win, so I think that we can shock the Whippeal and beat them. The football team is the number one seed in the Whippeal 5A playoff bracket. After a tough loss last week in McKeesport, John Gay believes that this team has what it takes to get to Heinz this year. Uh, we're in the first round of the playoffs. We're facing Fox Chapel. Um, we think we can get a win against them and move on to the next team. We don't know who it's going to be, but we think we're the best team in the Whippeal 5A, so we think that we can make it to the Whippeal Championship this year. We want to go to Heinz because it's just... We haven't been there since our sophomore year, and we still never won it. And it'd be a big, big thing for the school if we were able to go to Heinz and actually win there. Best of luck to all three teams this weekend. This has been Maddie for PTTV. PT Ski and Board is ready to go. We are having a very important all-member meeting on... Sorry. On Wednesday, we were having tef technical difficulties, I'm sorry. Wednesday, November 15th at 2.30 p.m. in the LLA. It is essential that all members attend. We will be discussing all the trips we are taking and how to sign up for those trips. See you then. Attention seniors, if you are planning on walking in graduation, you must order a cap and gown. Please bring your order form and payment to the main office. You may also order online at jostens.com. Maddie is here with this morning with student section leader Josh Beers with more on how you can support each squad at their games this weekend. It's a big weekend here in Penn Trafford. We have three teams in the playoffs. We're kicking off the festivities this afternoon with a pep rally, and tonight the football team plays Fox Chapel at home in the first round of the Whippeal playoffs. Now, Josh, what's the theme for this game, and why is it special? Uh, the theme for Friday's football game is a blackout. And it's special because it's the last home game for the seniors. Tomorrow we have the girls field hockey team playing at 3 o'clock at Latrobe. And we have the girls soccer team playing Norwin in the championship tomorrow at Highmark Stadium at 3.30. What's the theme for the girls soccer game and what can we expect from our student section for that game? Uh, that game is Warrior Army because for all championship games, the Warrior Army comes out for battle. And uh, we just want anyone we can to show up to the game. We want our big student section to be loud. All right, best of luck to all three teams competing this weekend. Let's take it back to the desk. The CAP projects for this week are the Veterans Drive is still going on today, and they will be collecting items through the 13th of November. 
The CUMC clothing giveaway setup will be today, Friday, November 3rd, 4 to 7 p.m. It will be at the Community United Methodist Church on Route 130, and you will be helping with the setup of the giveaway. The CUMC clothing giveaway will also be Saturday, November 4th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. You will be able to help with the giveaway event. The Special Olympics Bowling is this Saturday, November 4th as well. There are two sessions, one from 9.30 to 12 and another from 12.30 to 3, but students can also volunteer a full day. Volunteers will be Athletes Buddies. This event will be taking place at Hillview Bowling Lanes in Greensburg. See the website or Mrs. Popovich for details. This year, PT Video will be partnering with Ms. Stefkovich's t-shirt project to help raise money for Make-A-Wish. We will pre be producing our first ever telethon. This will take place on December 22nd, the day before break. We are looking for, for performers who want to be a part of the live show. Singers, musicians, and all sorts of acts are welcome. We are looking for 15 to 20 acts to fill the show. If you would like to participate, please see Mr. Vinton in the video room. PT Student Liter Literacy Magazine, Traces, is excited to announce the winners of its Scary Story Contest. The top prize goes to freshman Brooke Sargut. Runner-up goes to freshman Dominic DeMarcus. Several authors have also been earned an honorable mention. Noelle Bass Riley, Mara Coiner, ha Haley Dahar, Alyssa Flinger, and Rebecca Radishek. Congrats to all of the winners and thanks to everyone who submitted. You can also read the stories at bit.ly backslash PT Traces. If you're taking the SATs on Saturday, please arrive by 740, have your ID, admission ticket, pencils, erasers, a calculator, and a snack. New for this date, all cell phones and smart devices must be turned off and given to the test administrator. If you would prefer not to give the test administrator your devices, please keep them in your car. It's finally warming up here, PT. Let's send it over to David for a quick look at how warm it's just going to be. As we break into the month of November, the temperatures are continuing to fluctuate. Though yesterday had temperatures ranging in the mid to late 50s, today's high is a mild 62 degrees. The low will only reach around 37. There's only a 10% chance of rain for the playoff game tonight, so dress warm. Now let's take it back to the desk. In preparation for Friday's pep rally, Warrior Towels are on sale for $5 during all lunch periods today and tomorrow in the cafeteria. Attention class of 2018, senior t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, and hoodies are now on sale. All seniors should have received an order form in their English class. Extra order forms are in room 138. Be sure to submit your order form along with a check written to Penn Trafford yearbook to room 138 by Wednesday, November 8th. There is a student bus for the girls' soccer game on Saturday at Highmark Stadium at 3.30. The bus leaves at 2 o'clock and the tickets are $10. This is for the bus and gets you into the game. Sign up today in the athletic office and bring your money tomorrow if need be. It's playoff season here in PT with the football team, field hockey, and girls' soccer all in the playoffs. Here's Will with a look at today's sports report. The girls' soccer team will play Norwin for the Whitfield Championship title this Saturday at 3.30 at Highmark Stadium. General admission tickets will be sold at Highmark Stadium ticket window beginning no earlier than one hour before the start of the game. The entry gate is on the west side of the stadium. There is a no re-entry policy at Highmark Stadium. The football team plays Fox Chapel at home tonight to open the playoffs at 7.30. Tickets will be sold in all lunches today. No parent passes or 10 for 10 tickets will be accepted as this is a Whippeal event. The field hockey team plays their first game against Tillin Grove in the state playoffs this Saturday. November 4th, the game will be played at Latrobe. The Penguins lost to the Flames yesterday, 2-1. to one. Let's take it back to the desk for lunch. Thank you for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please stand for the Pledge of Flag. I'm Julie. And I'm Emily. Have a great day, Penn Trafford.